guys, welcome back to my channel. This is like the fifth bazillionth time that I've been trying to film this. Um, so anyway, I figured why not just tell you a story. So I'm gonna tell you about the time that I was, uh, I felt really awkward and strange it, because of one of my friends. Okay, and it was kind of stalkerish. I'll get to that at the end if I make it that far. Um, <laughs> so what had happened is one of my, one of my friends, was a freshman and I was a junior in college. So this had happened, uh, this had happened like a year ago or something. This had stopped happening like a year ago. Actually, no, not a year ago. When was it? It stopped <laughs> last fall. <laughs> I'll get to that if I make it this far, if I make it that far. So. What had happened was we were all mutual friends, so I was in a group of friends that was a year younger than me, so I was like the mother hen type of uh, type of friend, and I still am. So <laughs> we were, you know, he started to text me at like one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning when I hang out, wanting to do work um, because apparently his roomie was a weirdo or something like that, and I'm like okay, whatever, this kid wants to do work. And the library was open until midnight. So unless it were like finals or something, then it stayed open until like three or four in the morning. So he came over and did work and like he couldn't have any noise in the background. So he turned off my TV and I couldn't play loud music or whatever because he was in the room doing his work and he would just watch movies. And it was just so awkward. It was like, okay, can you leave now? Cause I need to get to bed and I have, um, I have a 9.40 in the morning and yeah, can you just scoot, scoot, please go? Yeah, leave. Um, I had to kick him out and that wasn't really fun cause I don't like kicking people out of my room. Um, but anyway, that started happening a lot more and I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then, Anyway, he had some like weird, um, weird things going on and he mentioned that to me and I'm like, oh, okay. Cause we get the same, we had one of those same classes together and it was my senior year. Was it my senior year? It was my senior year. So I had my senior year and it was the spring of my senior year. So, you know, graduation was coming up and I had invited him to my graduation party. Invited. So because I felt bad for the kid. I honestly felt bad for the kid and you know, whatever. So, um, my graduation party rolls around and he, actually no, graduation rolls around. He shows up to my graduation, my actual ceremony, guys. Who does this? Who does it? If you're invited to a graduation party, Unless you're specified on the invite that you were invited to the ceremony, do not go! Unless you want to look like a fool. Because that's what he did. He came over to me and my parents and my boyfriend's parents and my boyfriend. And he's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, what are you doing here? Anyway, sorry about that. My camera just shut off for some reason. Anyway, he comes over to us and he... He basically makes me feel like a fool. And it's like, okay, why are you here? Can you just, bye, bye, bye. And it was so awkward <laughs> because my boyfriend, <laughs> my boyfriend was talking to him and we're like, what are you doing here? And <laughs> my parents were just like, do you know him? Who is he? Like my, my boyfriend's parents, <laughs> they were so confused. They were like, who is he? Like, what is he doing here? And I had no idea he was going to do this. Like, hello, you're not invited to my ceremony. Can you just go? And that caused me to like completely freak and be like so confused. And he left and I'm like, thank God. And they were like asking me so many questions. And then my boyfriend's mom was just like, that boy really likes you. I'm like, yeah, no. Uh-uh, that kid smells. Oh, I forgot to mention, he smelled like onions all the time. He didn't wash his hair at all. He was very awkward, like socially awkward. Um, 
didn't brush his teeth and it was just like you're in college dude get with it or go home <laughs> and it's just like okay this kid has learning disabilities but like they weren't so major that like it made him stand out i want to say he was very quiet so like I don't know, I'm not making excuses for the creepy weirdness factor, but anyway, come my graduate school experience, I was still living on campus my, my fall semester because I was still taking classes. So what had happened was he had somehow gotten into my room or gotten onto my, my dorm room, not my tour, my, not into my actual room room, but like the, the hall that I was staying in. And he taped a four page note to my door and had someone in the hall read it to make sense of it. And she basically said that she had no means of interfering with this and she was I read it and I'm I was laughing and I told my boyfriend I sent pictures of it to him he started laughing and he goes this guy is pathetic he is so pathetic and I <laughs> like I was I was laughing along with him and it was it was just it was just so crazy but um I had I had told my next door neighbor who was my good friend and she still is she, Hi, Nicole, if you're watching these. Um, but if I told my next door neighbor what had happened and then the girl who helped him came, comes over and was just like, oh yeah, I helped him write it. No worries, no worries. I wasn't involved in anything. And I'm like, he gave me an ultimatum. Like, talk to him in like a period of four days. And he gave me his number and I'm like, Okay, this is so weird. Like, he knows I deleted everything from him. I, I blocked him on Facebook. I unfriended him. I did everything possible to get this kid out of my life. So, <laughs> he gives me his number and he goes, text me in the next four days or I won't consider us friends anymore. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, we were never really friends. Oh my God. It was so, oh my God. Anyway, so I didn't text the kid and my one, the one girl who helped him write it was just like, I'm like, he gave me an ultimatum and she's like, oh yeah, I put that in there. I told him to do it. I'm like, but you said, you weren't involved in writing it now, were ya? She had, she literally stopped talking. She's, she's like, so, like this, okay, a whole nother story time about her because she's just a whole mess. She's a mess of a person, like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> anyway, any hooser, that was the whole story. This kid was creepy and I got him out of my life. He's no longer in my life, no longer friends or whatever you want to call us or whatever. But yeah, it was just a whole creepy situation and my boyfriend was totally creeped out. He was like, no, don't talk to him anymore. Get rid of him. So also I didn't feel comfortable at all. So like I just completely got rid of him, got him out of my life. Thank God, because I'm so much happier without those people in my life. I will do a whole nother story time about my friends in college because they were a whole mess of people and they were just they were just a mess like honestly the ringleader is like crazy <sighs> whole nother story time okay let me finish up this video before it goes too long okay i love you guys stay beautiful and positive also if you are not subscribed we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year also my year anniversary is coming up so if you guys want to give me a little present get this to a hundred likes Okay, love you guys. Stay beautiful and positive and do something magical. Okay, bye!